Hey everyone. So I saw in Fishbrain there was a lot of people catching suckers around here in this little creek. And I decided to come down here and try my luck. There's a couple new species I haven't caught around here. And yeah, I might have missed the run though, because they were getting they were all the catches were in late March and the spawn might be over. Hopefully we can get one. We'll see. Nice. Got my first large scale sucker. Pretty cool fish. It's a spawning male. Look at those two burkeels on its tail. These ones also get a dark stripe on their uh, sides, the males, but uh, this one doesn't have it. Check out his mouth there. All right, I'm gonna take this home and Try him out, see what he tastes like. Guy just had his dog jumping in the water here. So I think it's, uh, he might have scared off all those fish. Um, it's been pretty dead for the last 15 minutes since the dog was in here. So I think I'm gonna try a new spot. That's a shame. Sean, there we go. Nice. Oh, shoot. Just sprayed me. <laughs> Another male, a bit bigger. Oh, this one's pretty good. Wow, look at this one. I think this may be a female, so I'm gonna let it go. But wow, that's a solid catch. have a size 6 eagle claw loaded up with uh, these red worms.
depot right there with the try. This one's not a very good hole. I'm gonna just keep moving downstream. Try uh find some more. Well, this spot looked really fishy, but uh, just not getting any bites. So I'm gonna keep going downstream. I am on the back end of the sucker run, so maybe they've moved upstream. If I don't get anything at the next spot, I'm gonna go um, ahead of where I started. See if there's any further up. And there's a little pond too, so I might try that. I don't have much time. I think I got about an hour left, maybe two. Um, yeah, it's just a short day today. All right, I'm heading to the new spot. Yeah, nothing downstream, so I'm gonna head further up or maybe back to where I started. Okay, so after that third one, the bite just shut off completely. I hiked all up and down the creek, about a mile of creek, and I saw one sucker fish the whole time. And he swam away pretty quickly. Um, but I wasn't able to fish for very long, so I'm happy I got those three and two that I'm going to cook up. Um, so I don't know if you've seen my other videos, but one of my favorite fish are smoked big mouth buffalo and i'll put a link in the description for that video so i'm gonna i've never tried sucker fish before oh well, i've tried red horse sucker and i've tried buffalo suckers but never sucker suckers um so i'm gonna try and smoke this and see how similar it tastes to the big mouth buffalo for that i'm just gonna do a wet brine and i'll show you how I fillet these guys. I've never actually filleted one of these, but uh, shouldn't be too much different from the buffaloes. So first thing I like to do is clean off the suckers and I'll put just uh, regular table salt on the outside and that'll get rid of some of the slime. Okay, so we're gonna get the fish. I 
they have this hard bit right here piece of bone usually but that wasn't too bad I'll spare you the details of removing the guts now we're just gonna cut behind the gills and try and get as much of the meat as we can right down to the spine I like to use a serrated knife for this part to cut through this rib bones which, uh, and once you get past that back you can just cut it off And that's all that's left over. Just the head and some of the spine. I'm gonna just try and fillet him like I normally would most fish. Just cut my knife along the spine here. Then I don't have to deal with the guts. strip of meat. Missed a tiny bit. That's okay. Not too worried about it. So, I got most of the meat. Okay, so I did it the original way that I do with the buffaloes, which is, um, well with the buffaloes you have to break the ribs, and then cut it along the spine with the bread knife. Um, but uh, for these ones, I don't think that's necessary, and I think it turns out better if you just fillet them like a normal fish, because there's not too much meat on the rib bones. With the buffalo, they're much bigger fish, and there's a lot more uh, meat on those bones, so you kind of want to keep them. Um, so yeah, it turned out better, um, just doing it regular style. And... Now I'm going to make the brine. So I'm just going to keep it simple. Um, just want Morton pickling salt. I like to use spring water. Just uh, pickling spice. This Boise Salt Company makes some really good stuff. And I like theirs. And some brown sugar. You'll just need about a... Um, the ratio is one gallon and one cup of sugar and one cup of salt with just like a couple tablespoons of the pickling spice. Um, since I don't have that much meat, I'm not going to make the full portion. I'll probably only do about half of that. Okay, that's nicely mixed. It's probably better to use a better container. I didn't really have too many options, so I just got this casserole dish. But it's gonna work. These fillets are pretty long. So I just put them in there. And they'll fit nicely. Or you should probably put them upside down. 
but so I'm gonna put that in the fridge or cover it up and put it in the fridge overnight and then I'll uh, get to smoking it tomorrow okay so here's our fillets they've just been on they've just been in the fridge overnight Probably about 15 hours, I think. So I just need to rinse them off and pat them dry and then let them sit for about half an hour in the fridge. And then I'll throw them on the smoker. There we go. We'll throw them in the fridge for half an hour and get the smoker going. All right, here they are. It's, it's actually been an hour. I had to do some stuff. So I'm gonna throw these on the smoker right now. So there's the end result. Just uh, left it in there for a while. I probably could have taken it out a bit sooner, but I wanted to test out if the um, bones would soften up if I put it in there longer. Apparently if you do it all day, they will, but I just put it in there for a couple hours. Um, yeah, I'm gonna take a look at one of the ones that I just cut off the spine and I'll show you where all the bones are and we'll do the taste test. All right, so here's the rib bones. So there's still a bit of meat that clings onto there. You can see they're pretty substantial bones. All right, so there's those bones. I'm not really finding other bones. There's a bone. It has very fine, very fine bones. I don't know if you can see. There we go. There they all are. So they're along the top here. You can see them coming out. And they're these little Y bones. There's quite a few of them. Some bigger ones. 
Okay, I've been trying to pick out all the buns and I've been eating it as well. It tastes pretty good. Probably the best part on the buffalo, smoked buffalo, is definitely these ribs. I think it's the same for suckers. I guess the bad thing about these is they're so small, these ones I kept. These fish get to about 10 pounds, I think. They're one of the bigger suckers around here. But still, there's a ton of bones and it's a lot harder to pick them out than say a red horse sucker. The red horse suckers, if you watch my video on the catch and cook for those, are pretty cool. They've got pretty big bones and they're easy to pull out. These ones have a lot of tiny bones and they're kind of a pain. Yes, but uh, so a better way of um, cooking these that people do is just grinding up the meat, bones and all, and then deep frying them. It's definitely a pain with all these tiny bones to eat, but the meat tastes really good. It's a bit softer than buffalo fish, but uh, still pretty nice flavor. Um, it's kind of like a sweet and salty deal going on, but I'm glad I tried it. Um, I'm gonna eat these ones and it's, yeah. Like this one looks pretty good. I think it, it's a lot better when you, when you fillet it off the bone, but still it's, it's tough getting out all these little bones. Like just this one little piece here. There's two bones, three bones. And I'll probably get a few more when I start eating it. Yeah, but I really like it. It's probably slightly less, not as, um, it's not as nice as buffalo, but uh, it's still pretty good. Actually, this fillet um, is one of the ones I took off the, that I just filleted like a normal fish. And it seems like the bones are a little thinner, but it was a thinner fillet, so maybe the bones have softened up. It is just like candy though. I can, I can eat this all day. It is a nice change of pace from salmon though. I've been eating a ton of salmon smoked salmon and uh, it's nice to change it up. It's a different flavor completely than salmon. It's not too bad picking out the bones though. Eat the whole thing.